Welcome, and welcome back to all that the wind has brought here, to another episode of Roots of Pacha. Today is the first day of fall, and we have some exploring to do. I think we'll take it the same way we normally do. Maybe start by going up to the mountains. The good thing is we can run up to the cliff, and then we can teleport, actually, to somewhere else if we like. And I think that'll be very interesting for us. We also have a baby Ibex. Ah, very cute. All right. Upgrading accessories. We're going to be able to take a look at this too. First off, yes, we got lucky, you guys. Our new baby Ibex is female. That means we get more milk, more cheese, more profits. Of course, we have to say hi to everyone today. We can increase the power of our accessories using gold or silver. Come see me if you want to upgrade any of them. Yeah, that will be happening. It looks very interesting. But first things first, we've got processors that we need to be running. Oh, I love the weather. This is fantastic. It's so beautiful. And the music's good too. All right. So of course we're gonna go meet up with all of our animals. Oh, and we have a new song. There's no fuzzy butts to our bison yet, but that's okay. <coughs> I just want to double check. Yep. I figured since she was out breeding. I apologize for that. Sharing a space, guys. It happens. All right. Fantastic. She's got max production. I mean, we could up her quality and things, but that's all right. Max production, I will take. Yes. Okay. Okay, now we want to deal with clearing some of this space out. We also want to talk to you. It can be hard to put others before yourself, but it's the right thing to do. <clears throat> Viewing accessories. Okay. So silver. That one's gold, but we need 15. Okay. And that one's silver. But that's all right. Those two are two of the top ones that I'm focused on. Uh, I believe we do have this one as well. And we put that one away. But that's okay. All right. This is going to be boring. I'll be <laughs> all right, guys. We are back. All right. So... I Let's go ahead and call our mount. Yeah, but it's like 40 degrees, so... I apologize for what's going on there. Okay. And just because I think it's going to be important for us shortly... I totally missed that, and I do apologize. 
let's go ahead and get a better watering can. So that's going to be somewhat crucial to us. All right, and we do have a couple of crops already that are fall crops that we need to get our hands on as well from Grandpa. Festivals are a good time to catch up with everyone. This is true. Now, garbanzo and butternut squash. And sweet potatoes. So, starting by checking how many we have of everything. And switching our ring so that fall is up front. Okay, so we have some butternut squash, but that does not regrow. Pumpkins, I'm not sure if they regrow. We know that the sweet potatoes do not. We know that the garbanzo do. So, we have one and a third fields of garbanzo. And we could buy up to 16 seeds, and I think that's going to be good for us for the moment. Let's, of course, buy a whole bunch of these because they grow quick. These take a while to grow, so we're going to buy a bunch. And we're going to buy all the pumpkins we can for the moment. Just to see how many we can get our hands. Okay. Then we're going to wander around. We're going to try and explore the forest and the beach today as well as the town this will get better when we have faster mounts but for now this is what we've got so we are running around we are looking for things okay Still not seeing a whole lot. Hmm. Nothing where the tomatoes usually are. That's okay. I was admittedly expecting more. Teddy said the ocean goes on forever. That seems unlikely. Let's dance with Garrick. I'm still hoping, right? He's an engineer. He's got to have a good idea. Okay. Still nothing. Just nothing. Well, we got the pumpkins, so at least we got those. We're going to check in the jungle real quick. Yeah. Because I'm only seeing pumpkin. So. Let's see here. I'm seeing fruit. Oh man. Um No, oh, we're going to drop some poop cuz that's a mango. Is that harvestable? No. Now we're going to pull out our sickle just in case we find anything that is harvestable. But I don't see anything in the jungle this season. Either that or it just hasn't grown yet. Okay.
I'm really hopeful that we're going to find some good stuff today. We're going to chuck some things in here. Just for the sake of chucking them in here. Yeah, those amethyst can go. Those rocks can go. We don't need them. Okay. Okay. Oh! Yes, please, something. Myra, I could use your help. I was thinking about branches in the wild. The tips of the branches swing more than the part by the trunk. So I thought, what if the same force could be applied to move something like this stump? But it keeps slipping. I know. Myra, can you hand me that rock? Thanks. I think if I can pivot on the rock, it will let me use the force from up here down there. It works! Now what to call it? A forcer? A pusher? A lifter? That's it, a lifter. Hmm. You know, a lot of the clan treats me like I'm weird. But that was such a great idea. I know. Sometimes I don't think I explain my idea as well. It's like all the words want to come out at once, and then I'm not sure what to say. I just wish people like Jin and Grob saw me as someone who's helpful in the clan, too. Maybe I'm too shy. I don't know. Anyway, thanks for helping me out. I appreciate it. That was adorable. Okay. We should say hi to these guys. My people have a young keeper. She challenges the old ways of thinking. Most problems can be solved with brute force. Oh, you are concerned, sir. What do we got here? Onions! Oh, fantastic. We'll grow some of those. Let's see, what else can we find? Fennel, okay. Nothing else down here. I'm excited for all these new crops. Or better not squash. We know about these. But we'll take them because they don't regrow. That is a cool looking boar. What are you? You're just a white boar. So that's what that baby would have grown up into. Okay. They are kind of cool looking. Maybe we'll get one of those at some point. We might have to do that at some point. Ah, the puppies! Willow bark, okay. And some lettuce? Cabbage, okay. I'll take it. And is there anything over here by the cliff? There is. More sweet potatoes. Okay, okay. Sweet potatoes are definitely good. Let's go see if there's anything down on the beach. Because we can do this. Which is just fantastic. I gotta say. I love that. The shortcuts around the map. Because you have to earn them. And that's awesome.
That's just seaweed. That appears to be a plant. <sighs> okay. Not a harvestable one. What about this? That is prickly pear. Okay. Oh, that seaweed is red. That's cool. So... Appears that prickly pear is going to be the only crop down here this season. Well, very important, though. When we visited, visit the mainland, my brother worries. But the Mograni keep their distance. Nothing. Okay. It seems strange to live with wolves. Then again, I'd live with dolphins if I could. What a pleasant surprise. Thanks. Let's dance. I think that achievement means that we've reached five hearts. It does. Oops. I wanted to dance, not trade. All right. Let's grab some poop and let's plant some fields, shall we? Compost. And then let's take a look at the seeds that we got today. Those are not seeds. Those are people. Seeds that we've gathered. We now have cabbage. Fennel. Prickly pear. Pumpkin we've got down. An onion. So far, these are not even including anything that might be in the savanna. I'm betting pumpkins will regrow. I'm betting prickly pear will regrow. I'm betting everything else will be harvested. The pumpkins might also be harvested, but I'm not sure on that yet. So. First off, let's get some fertilizer in the ground. And I want pumpkins here. Oops, I wanted one there. That's okay. We'll get one there tomorrow. Um, I want prickly pear here. I want, hmm, I want these sweet potato down and I want them at least the first little bit with some fertilizer. Okay. Then we can do onion. We can do fennel. We can do cabbage. And then we can do Garbanzo here.
Well, I guess it's a good thing we don't get monetized on this channel. I will be having to have a conversation with someone. My apologies for anyone who is offended by language. Uh, I may cut out that bit of the video. Uh, and I apologize if there is a sudden cut there. Um, that was inappropriate language coming from the other side of the room. All right. Well, it may not be perfect, but we are getting some seeds grown. And we'll go ahead and pass out. Perfect timing. We passed out at the last bit of watering. That is fantastic. That means I don't have to worry about seeds not sprouting. That's going to be wonderful. Glenn is up to 112,000 prosperity. And about two-thirds of the way to making hammocks. And we contributed 495. It's not great, but we weren't focusing on it like we normally do. We were doing some exploration. So, yeah, I'm going to blame it on that. All right, and tomorrow we will awaken to another animal shed being finished and a gift from the Mograni. But that's going to have to wait for the saving of the game and the ending of the day. We have come to the end of another episode. If you like what you see, please hit that thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more, consider subscribing. But until next time, May the wind bring you on another journey, and have a good night.